Lately, he prefers to scavenge from other predators, and he'll try everything he can to steal a meal. in Africa has its advantages, but climbing trees is not one of them. He'll have to forfeit this chance to eat. One of the most important attractions to a certain territory is the food it holds. Grass, trees and water attract the great herds. And the lions have a varied menu to choose from at their doorstep. All they have to do is catch it. But the Shabeli pride has had no luck in hunting. The cubs are the ones that suffer the most. Although they are weak and tired, they must keep moving, searching for food. Finally, a lucky break. The Shabelis find the young female elephant. She died an untimely death. Her one-ton body provides the Shabellis with the jackpot. The old male joins in. The pride let him feed first. They manage to tear the elephant's skin in one of the thinnest places. Most of it is three centimeters thick, but under its legs, it is paper thin. With such a large meal, the lions can afford to take their time in feeding. They will eat for the next seven days and take time out to groom and cuddle. During this time, the old male will alternate between feeding here and patrolling the rest of his territory. When he finishes his turn, the cubs and their mother take theirs. The little cub takes her chance, but, as usual, her mother doesn't allow her to eat. Vultures spot the dead elephant from kilometers away. The little cub tries again. She is relentless, but her mother will not let her get a bite. The lioness even tries to stop the older cub. Finally, the grumpy mother walks away. little one can feed in peace. Every day, more vultures arrive on the scene. They wait patiently for the lions to finish with the elephant carcass. They know that eventually, the lions will leave. Nevertheless, they test the lions.
But the cubs keep an eye on them, especially the youngest one. She loses interest quickly and gives her cousin a cuddle. For the first time in many months, the cubs are well fed. They regain their strength and have enough energy to play. By the sixth day, insect-eating birds find the carcass. They are here to feed on maggots. Usually, their window of opportunity to pick out insects at a kill is very small, if at all. They cannot feed when the lions or the vultures are eating. But here, they get a chance while the lions rest. It's a little bird feeding party. In the brothers' camp, the tables have turned. Now, it's the males that have to be careful in approaching the females, even though they have accepted them. Again, one of the brothers follows the lioness in Estris. He carefully walks closer, but she will allow him to mate with her only when she is ready. He keeps trying, and finally, she submits. Mating is quick. In between sessions, the lions rest. Now that she's consented, she doesn't give him the runaround anymore. They will mate several times an hour for the next few days. During this time, she will probably mate with all three brothers to ensure that the strongest genes will father her cubs. With this act, the three sisters that left the old Shabeli male cement their bond with the brothers. But there is a casualty in For the youngster, his mother and her sister's newfound partners pose a serious threat. To have any chance of surviving, he will have to leave the brother's territory. He smells his mother's familiar scent. Desperately, he calls her. He looks for her. He listens for her familiar call. But she'll never respond. His mother is gone forever. 
Eventually, he resigns himself to his new fate. The hyenas seem to sense his vulnerability. They come in close for a better look. With no one on his side, his life will be a struggle to find food and just to keep alive. He leaves his home, a great piece of land owned by some impressive cats. Makajan and Ntombi have gone their separate ways. He continues to be the undisputed leopard master of his territory. Ntombi retreats back into her secretive domain. In the Brothers' Land, a new chapter is about to begin. With such strong fathers and a prime piece of land, the cubs are guaranteed to have a great start in life. On the neighboring territory, the old male leaves forever. His reign is over, and he goes off to a private and dignified end. Without a father and strong male protector, the Shabeli cubs walk into an uncertain future. On African soil, old territories are lost and new ones found. To a lion, nothing is more important than holding his own. A lion's territory